Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Roblox. And today I am playing a game called Bid Battles Tycoon. So today Doge is going to be creating his very own store uh, where he basically bids on items and then sells them and hopefully gets some more money. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what is happening. Hi Doge, I'm the auctioneer. Welcome to Bid Battles. In Bid Battles, you must bid for auction garages and build up your store empire. Click on the auctions button to join an auction. Okay, so it looks like the first thing we need to do is join an auction. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, join. So I went ahead and joined. So let's see what's gonna happen here. So we got $250 to spend on stuff. Hmm, looks like some cool items. Let's try the win then. All right, so starting at $100, let's make a bid. Yes, let's bid for 100. There we go. Anyone for 125? Oh great, we got one for 125. I only have $200 to bid. Uh, they've bidded more than us. Bid again to be the highest bidder. All right, let's bid again. Let's just keep bidding on the uh, garage and hopefully we can sell this stuff. Looks like we got some good stuff in here that we can sell. Going twice, sold. There we go, Doge bought his very first garage. Now let's see how much it's worth. It better be worth more than I, what I paid. Oh, it is. We've made a profit. There we go, cool. We only have space to take one item home. We can upgrade this later. I click uh, the most valuable item, then click confirm. All right, so uh, the most valuable item is this teddy bear, but I want this bonsai tree. Oh, really? I can't take the bonsai tree? I have to take the bear. Okay, I'll take the bear. Go ahead and confirm. Uh, now we can sell the rest of the items for $187. Cool. Or we can uh, spend 50 gems and get 20% more. Alright, so now we can put the items in our shop. Uh, so we'll go ahead and head on in. This is your shop. It's small now, but you can upgrade it later. Let's add a table to sell your items on. Click edit shop at the top. Alright, so I've put my table down. This person wants to buy it for $72, which is uh, a little bit more than it's worth. So I guess we'll go and accept it. And I got a five uh, gem tip as well. Uh, wow, you got a five gem tip. Uh, we can use this to buy upgrades. Click the upgrades button on the left. Okay, so I think the tutorial's finally done. So now I can uh, do whatever I want. So the first thing I wanna do is move my table because it's in a really bad spot. Also, Doge has apparently changed his look uh, from his Halloween costume to now whatever this is. Uh, Doge apparently has his money hat on today because he's going to be doing a bunch of uh, bidding. So let's go uh, explore around here. There's actually a lot of people's uh, shops around here. This is apparently Doge's store. Uh, doesn't look like there's anyone else around here. These are empty. Here's a, another person's store. Let's go inside and see what they're selling in here. They got a banana car. Look at this. How did they get one of those? It's apparently a legendary. Is that a VR headset? They got a VR headset. Looks like they got the new iPhone over here as well. They want to buy it for uh, $776. Apparently they got trading cards over here. You can get a buff noob. It's got 100 strength and then plus 999 noob. Okay, that's cool. And um, they've also got this thing. Don't know what that is. So there's some cool stuff in there. Uh, let's go uh, do an auction. Uh, so we can go, the warehouse requires $750. So I guess we'll go back to the hood. Let's see if we can win. Oh, wow. Uh... Doesn't look like there's anything really that good in here. Uh, yeah, it's starting at like $75. I'll, I'll try 100. I don't think we're gonna get much. That game controller in there might be worth uh, some good money. Game controllers go for a good amount of money, right? Hopefully I get some good money. Oh wait, there's another one? Oh, I didn't know there was multiple. I thought it was just one. 
All right, looking at this, uh, it's starting at 100. 125. Um, I guess we'll just leave it. It does look like there's some good stuff in there. I probably should have bought that one. This one, we got some big boxes. Who knows what's in that big box? I think I'm going to buy this one. It's starting at 75, so we'll go... Someone already outbid me? Really? Okay, I'll go 125. 150. Anybody going to do 150? Nope. Looks like Doge has got two garages. Is that the last one? Oh, it is. Okay. Let's see. How much am I going to make? I did make some money. That's good. Actually, made a lot of money. There we go. So, we'll go ahead and grab these two items. Bring back to the shop to sell. And I got $315 to sell. So, we'll go ahead and do that. So, let's see if I can get anyone to come buy my game controller. So, we'll go ahead and put the game controller and this bunny. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Here, let me rotate it. There we go. Now, it's facing the correct way. So, what other stuff do I have? I've got... I need a paint bucket. It's 500 gems. No, I don't think we're going to do that. What other stuff can I buy in here? Uh, I can get just shelves, it looks like. Wait, are these just free? Or do I actually have to pay for these shelves? Because it looks like they're just free. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the, uh, the brand new auction that I can do, which is the warehouse. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we got some interesting stuff here. How much is this going to go for? Starting at 175. Oh, it's going up to 200. 250. 300. Oh, great. These people are aggressive. 350. 400. Yeah, I'm not going to go 400. Alright, looks like they bought it for 350. We'll see if they make a profit off it. I don't know if that's worth that much money. This doesn't look very promising. Uh, let's see uh, what it's starting at. 175. I'll bid. I'll do 250. Let's see. Anybody gonna go 300? 250. I think it might be a little high for this one. I might actually lose money. Let's see. Am I gonna make enough money off of this one? Okay. It was $40 stack of wood in that box. That was pretty good. What about this one? This one went for a pretty good amount of money. And they did actually make a profit. Alright, so that was actually a, a pretty good round. I got a $50 drill. Yes. And uh, also a baseball bat. So I'll go ahead and grab that, sell everything else. And see if anyone's in my shop that wants to buy stuff. Oh, they want to buy the pallet and the lamp. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the, uh, the drill. We'll put it on the podium there. Put this baseball bat. And we'll go to another auction. Okay, let's see what I make out of this. Hopefully, I get 300. All right, so I did actually make some money out of the uh, the garage that I bought. All of these seem to have made some money, which is good. So, I think what I might do next time is try and buy, like, all of the, uh, the garages if I can. I'm going to place a bid on each one. And see if I get some good stuff. I'll go ahead and put these boxing gloves down. Because these are apparently 50 bucks each. So this time I'm going to try buying out all the garages and see what happens. Now this one looks like it's got some decent stuff in there. So it's starting at 200. We'll go 250. That one should be pretty easy money right there. So there we go. Doge got that. This one. There's a microwave back there. That is a $50 drill I think. I think is how much the drills were. I'll go ahead and do a bid for 250 Wow, these people really don't want to bid at all. Alright, let's see. I bought these two garages over here. Let's hope uh, I get some good money. There we go. We're over 250 I got 411 That's pretty good. Next one here. We got some uh, really good stuff. Yeah, I got this one for pretty cheap. So I'm going to make some good money off of that. So I got a $383 profit, which is good. And I got uh, some more items that I can sell in my uh, shop over here. Alright, so it looks like I got some customers here that want to buy some stuff. So I might as well sell it all. Uh, and then uh, put some new stuff. 
up. So there we go. We'll put all this stuff on the uh, display here. Now, I do have 10 uh, gems. So if I go into upgrades, I can actually upgrade my store inventory. So I'm going to go and do that. I messed up. I was supposed to hit the selling space instead of the inventory space. Oh, well. I guess we'll just have to get some more gems. Okay, so I've just bought my 50 gems here. Let's go and buy a store upgrade. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy anything else. I think I'm going to wait. So now that I've done that, let's go and move the, uh, the shelves. Uh, and then that way I've got some more space for uh, selling stuff now. So there we go. We got that. Now, uh, can I get to the next auction? Oh, I need a little bit more money so I can go to here. And this one, it looks like you actually have to pay $50 just to get in. Okay, so I've got enough money now to go to the store. This is the uh, the next uh, best place to go. So let's see how... how what? They're like $600? Uh, sure, I'll do a bid. Uh, we're gonna buy this for uh, $650. I'm hoping there's some good stuff in here. Uh, so hopefully I don't lose uh, money on that. Next one we've got... Doesn't look like very good stuff. There's a microphone back there. That might be worth some good money. Starting at 300. I'll go 350. And that's it. I'm not going to go any higher than that. Uh, let's see what they, uh, the next garage is. Okay, I got it for 350. That's good. Next one. Ooh, there's a painting. Paintings could go for some good money. So, let's see. How much is this starting at? 350? I'll go 400. And it looks like no one's going to go higher. Alright, cool. I bought out every single garage. Let's hope I make some money here. Alright, let's see how much that painting's worth. $134. Oh, wow. I actually made a lot of money out of that. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one, I actually made money off of that. That was good. This one, I'm a little bit worried about. I paid $650, but I made a profit. There we go. I almost got $1,000 from that. All right, so what do I want to take home? I'm going to take the trombone and whatever that is. Is that like a diving helmet or something? So I made $672. I kind of want to get this painting. Would you up... Uh, yeah, can I upgrade? Oh, I can't upgrade. Okay. There's uh, some other stuff in here that was worth some pretty good money. So I'll go ahead and sell this. And let's go inside. I got $2,000 now. I might actually upgrade my shelves, which it looks like people want to buy my stuff. So here we go. We'll go ahead and uh, do all those. And then uh, we'll put this stuff on display. Can I put this over here? There we go. So, let's go to the, uh, the shop real quick. I don't remember how much it was for the, uh, shelving upgrades. But let's head over to the shelf store. I want to see what other stores there are. Uh, oh, I can almost get this. You know what? I think I'm going to save up for shelf pack four. That's going to be a little bit better. Let's see if there's any other shops. So, I guess if you get broken stuff, you can repair it and sell it for more money. I don't have anything that's broken. So it does look like there's some pretty interesting stuff in this game that you can do. Okay, so I just spent $950 on this garage. That's like the most I've spent on a garage. Let's hope I get some good money because I saw this monitor. Is that a bomb? What? What, is there just a bomb in a box? Alright, so let's look at what I got. I got this monitor, which I really want to sell that. And I got this lamp. But didn't I see a bomb? Yeah, there's a bomb down here. Let's, I guess, sell this. And then the rest of the stuff we can sell. So, let's see. I don't know if this is a good thing to be selling in my store. Uh, maybe there's some bomb enthusiasts that want to buy it. I'll put it on the, uh, the pedestal here. There we go. We'll put it right there. And, uh, can I get someone to buy something for a good price? Oh, you know what I can do? This says I can actually, I think, repair it. So if I bring this to, I don't remember which shop it was. It's the one that repairs stuff. Maybe I can get a, a better value if I repair it. All right, so here's the repair building. Let's see, if I bring this to the repair guy, will he fix it? 
All right, so apparently I gotta wait two minutes and then he'll repair it and give it back to me. So while we wait, let's go back to the store and buy some more stuff. Because if I can get that monitor fixed up, I could probably make a good profit. This person has a tree. They have just a whole tree in their garage. Uh, sure. I'm interested to see how much this tree's worth, so I'm gonna buy it. We're gonna spend $500. It's also a huge crate. There could be some uh, good stuff in there. So there we go. I got this for 500. Let's see. What's the uh, the next one got? They got a grill, a doghouse, a rake, uh, some big boxes. Gonna be some cool stuff in there. Starting at 500. Okay, I'll go 550. 600. Oh wow, I went up to 700 accidentally. I didn't want to do that, but okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I've run out of money, so I can't actually buy the uh, third one here. But it's going for uh, $850, which is a lot. So let's see if uh, I make a, a profit here on the garages that I bought. Alright, so here's my garage. I bought this for $700. And I did make a profit. Alright, this one I'm interested in how much that tray's worth. $79 apparently. And uh, I made a profit out of that one too. Perfect. So I'm going to grab this bench and the sink. Actually, can I sell the bench? I don't even know if I have space for that. So I'm going to grab the doghouse instead. So there we go. We'll go ahead and sell the rest of this stuff. And let's go inside the shop here. See if I've got any customers. Okay, I'm going to decline your offer. Sure, get that out of my store. And uh, I'm going to decline your offer as well. So let's go ahead and head in here. Should be time to pick up my uh, monitor. $180. Cool. I forgot what it was before, but it's probably more. So you know what? Before we sell the monitor, I'm going to do uh, another uh, bid on the, uh, the store here. See if I can get any good stuff. This one's full of boxes. There's also a chair. That chair could be worth some good money. Starting $550. Alright, we'll go ahead and do $600. No one apparently wants to go higher than that, so I guess we're going to get this one. So, let's see what people want to buy here. We're going to then sell that. This person apparently wants to give me an offer for the chair that's better than this person over here. So, I'm going to go and decline that. Uh, are you sure you want to accept this offer? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Wait, send trade. Oh, wait! That's an actual person! Wait, you can just, like, buy stuff from people's shop? Wait, I didn't know that. Wait. Hold on. Can I buy stuff? Wait, what about this person? I didn't know you could sell it to people. What do they have in here? Can I buy these bones? Make an offer. Um... I'm gonna offer them, like, $400 for these bones. So... We'll see if anyone... Oh, wait, this is the person that's got those cars. Wait, how much are these cars worth? Five hundred dollars. Can, can I buy these cards? Okay, I just realized you can apparently buy this weird thing for six thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Okay, so I've just entered the uh, the brand new uh, location where I can buy stuff, and uh, looks like we got some interesting stuff. Wow. Okay, we're apparently starting in the thousands of dollars. Okay, let's go ahead and. Do, uh, 1400 Say if, uh, I can actually buy it. I don't know if I'm gonna go 2000 2000 seems like a lot. But then again, I have no idea how much this stuff is worth. So, we'll say, uh, if, uh, Bob here ends up getting anything. Is that a beehive? There's a beehive in there. How much is this one going for? Only 700 Okay. That sounds like a reason. No one wants to buy this? I guess I get that garage. Didn't even have to fight anyone for it. There's a phone. There's a painting and some boxes. Not a lot in here. This one's going for 600. Okay, let's see. Oh, people are actually bidding for this. Uh, I'm gonna go 800 and that's it. Alright, let's see if I make some money. Okay, I did actually make some money from that. That's good. And this is the one I'm interested about. They bought it for 1,800. And they did actually make a profit. Just barely. So I've got a brand new pink uh, chair that I can get. And uh, this lamp. 
We'll go ahead and get both. Actually, I want the flamingo. Let's grab that. And uh, let's head inside. See if I can sell anything. This person wants to buy the monitor for 240. Yep, there you go. Uh, oh, I forgot to put my uh, other stuff back on display. So I'll go ahead and put all this uh, on display here. And there we go. So we'll see if anyone buys that. I'm going to do one more. We're going to do one more auction here. Got $602. I actually went down in money. So I can't actually go back to the same location. Actually, I can sell this stuff. There we go. So I can sell that. And then uh, put some new stuff on display. Oh, wait. I can fix this and uh, get more money. So you know what? Let's grab that. Bring it to the fixing guy. And uh, get a little bit more money for the sink. Apparently, I made $4,271 today, which is really good. Uh, there's loads of different locations here. What's the best one? Apparently, it's uh, this one. Actually, I think there's better ones. Uh, if you go in here, these are for gems. So, there's some uh, really cool places that you can go to. There's also limited auctions as well. I don't know how those work. But that's going to be it for today. So, I'm going to go in and end the episode here. So, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.